Now, although the Labrador Retriever is one of the best breeds on the planet, it can be an absolute miserable experience to live with one that jumps up everybody that you meet. So in today's video, I wanna show you exactly how you can quickly stop your Labrador from jumping and have dream canine companions just like this. Good dogs, good dogs. So let's talk about stopping your Labrador from jumping because there's not many things that are worse than, especially Labradors, that can be medium to large sized dogs, is them jumping up, especially if they're around children or elderly people, it can be incredibly dangerous. And when we're working with any kind of behavior that is a dangerous behavior, even if it comes from the dog being happy, being playful, being excited to see you, it is a behavior that is unacceptable and needs to be addressed quickly for the safety of the people that the Labrador is jumping up. So the first step to dealing with a Labrador that's jumping up is to correct the undesirable behavior and to correct it firmly but fairly and most importantly from a place of love because we care about our dogs and we care about the people that they're jumping up and potentially harming. So we're going to correct that undesirable behavior. In my opinion, one of the best ways to do that is using my trusty slip lead. And I will use a slip lead correction paired with a verbal correction, which allows me to correct my dog later on with nothing more than a verbal correction and removes the need for long-term use of physical corrections. But we must have the dog understand that you can't do that anymore, that's unacceptable, it's dangerous, and I need to help you understand that because I love you and I care about you. Now even though these dogs here are incredibly excited, they know I've got my training gear on, they know I've got toys and treats on me, they're excited to be with me, and they're excited at what the potential of us working together might look like, but they understand that it's not acceptable to jump up, because when they were younger and they made bad decisions, it was clearly and effectively communicated to them that that's not acceptable. However, we don't stop there, because we are fair to the Labradors in our life, because we care and love the Labradors in our life. Yes, as their loving leaders, we may have to challenge and correct their bad behaviors, but it's also important that we therefore help them understand what is the right behavior. And it's this piece of the puzzle that separates a more balanced training approach from an old school compulsion approach, which I equally disagree with. But a balanced approach, yes, we communicate to the Labrador that that's unacceptable, but then we redirect them to all of the amazing obedience work that we have done with toys, with positive reinforcement, with food and with treats. So when it comes to jumping up, what is the alternative? Well, the alternative for me is simple. It's a lovely sit and stay. Whenever you meet somebody, you sit and you wait quietly with good manners and patience. And then if you do so, we'll move to step three. But for right now, we have to help our dogs understand that jumping up is unacceptable. Don't do that, but please do this. And what we want is when you're excited and you see a new person, you don't jump, what you do is sit and wait calmly and quietly with good manners. And that's a very, very easy thing to teach. It is one of the first things that most people will teach their dog on day number one at simply eight weeks old. Teaching a dog to sit is incredibly easy. So correct the jump in redirect to a nice sit behavior that then allows us to move to step three. And that is reward the desirable behaviors. Yes, we've corrected, yes, we've redirected them. And now comes the fun bit. Now comes the bit where we reward our dogs. Yes, I've got pockets full of treats right now. Every time they show me a desirable behavior, I'm praising and I'm rewarding that desirable behavior. And what happens very, very quickly with Labradors in particular is that that bad behavior of them jumping up comes down because every time they do it, we challenge and we correct that bad behavior. However, every time they sit nicely, and wait patiently, we reward that behavior instead. So the right behavior of them sitting and waiting calmly with good manners happens first time and every time. The bad behavior of them jumping up comes down and disappears. Then we're left with a dog 
that will sit and wait calmly and quietly, which gives us the ability to praise and reward. But if we don't challenge and correct the undesirable behaviours, the bad decisions, the mistakes our Labradors make, we never get to that point. But by putting in a little bit of rules, boundaries, expectations and discipline, we can get to that point, which then allows us to smother our dogs with all the positive reinforcement that we've ever dreamed of. But you can't have one without having a little bit of the other. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to learn more about one of my favorite breeds in the world, the Labrador Retriever, make sure you subscribe to this channel because it's exactly what it's designed to do. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode.